Hey masters, welcome back to Joe Media. Today we are gonna learn how to build and push your Docker image to the Docker Hub. In the last video, we learned how to construct and make this uh, Docker file from scratch. I think that, uh, well, if you wanna learn how to do it, you can go ahead and check that, right? But today we are gonna be building again the, the Docker image. So I'm gonna be doing a Docker build. We're gonna, uh, well, name this with the, with the T, with the dash T, in order to uh, tag the Docker image, right? So the first parameter here is gonna be the Docker image name. So I wanna call this Cypress demo, for example. And I also want to uh, tag this as version one. As soon as I do this, uh, well, I'm having an, an, an issue cause I'm not, um, well, specifying the Docker file. I have to, well, use a dot over there. Well, as soon as I, I do that, you can see that when I perform a Docker images in my computer, I now have a new one over here, which is Cypress demo. And if you remember from the last video, if I perform a Docker run um, and I send the right parameters, for example, uh, the browser where I want to execute this uh, browser Chrome and also the spec, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be executing my uh, test scripts inside of the container, right? That's basically the idea of this. Um, I'm missing something here, I'm, I am sorry. The first thing that I'm missing is a, a, an, an interactive tag over here, a flag to, to watch what is happening in the container inside. And also I had also to um, well specify the, the, the image that I want to execute, right? In this case, I have to use a dash T and also well specify the Docker image over here and also the tag. Okay, so as you can see now, probably <laughs> uh, we're gonna be executing Cypress inside of a Docker container, as you can see, that's good. And uh, well, the first uh, the script is gonna fail. I'm expecting that. I am. I did um, um, a change in the script to have this assertion not working, but everything else is working fine, right? As you can see, we're executing and running the other specs. They are working fine. And um, well, the last one should work too. So my idea would be to well send this Docker image that I have in my local computer, right? To the Docker hub. Right now, as you can see, I don't have any Docker image, uh, well, uploaded. No tag available because I haven't pushed anything. So what I'm gonna do is basically that. I'm gonna start working with the Docker login. It is gonna be requesting me my username. In this case, is Jung Media. I have configured that in that way, and also I have to specify my co my uh, password. Obviously, you're not, you are not gonna know what is happening there. Docker login again. I did something wrong. Uh huh. There it is. I guess should be logged in now yeah there it is login succeeded now the, the next step that we have to do is something very easy i guess uh, well we're gonna check the docker images and we have to tag this um this image id with a with a specific uh, tag name okay so i'm gonna do a docker tag here uh, then i have to specify the docker image id and then I have to specify my username or user ID from uh, Docker, right? Docker Hub, as you can see over here, this is my Joan Media uh, ID. So I have to specify that here. Then I have to use the, the well, the, the, the name of the image that I want to have, right? And also the tag again, V1, there it is. Now, if I check again the Docker images, you're gonna see that now I have well, two different images, the one with well, the original one, right? And then we have another one with a, a different repository name, basically, right? right? So um, let's go ahead and push this. It is basically as simple as Docker push. And uh, well, I have to specify the, 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 the image name and also the version over here, okay? So let's let's see what what we can do, and and as you can see, well, it is gonna be a start uh, ex uh, sending the information to the to the repository, and well, you can see that there are some layers that already exists. Probably, uh, well, as you can see, um, it, it is already done. Probably in your computer, it is gonna be waiting, or actually, you are gonna have to wait for a few seconds or minutes, depending on the on the image uh, size, right? 
Um, so let's take a look if, if in the Docker Hub now I have the image. And as you can see, now I have one over here. What I'm gonna do to show you that this worked correctly is, well, I'm gonna delete both images over here, which has the same image ID with Docker RMI and the Docker image ID. And then I have to use force because I have two different images with the same image ID. If I don't use force, I'm not gonna be capable to do it. So, uh, well, as you can see, if I perform again at Docker images, I don't have any Docker image in my computer. And now I can perform uh, a Docker pull, okay? Docker pull from, um, well, the, the, this particular um, repository, which is, let me show you that, um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where I can see it. There it is, Young Media. This is the, the repository name, so I can copy it, right? But, uh, well, I have to specify the tag name. As you can see, it is not going to work because I have to use the V1 after the, um, the, the, the um, ah, I see. And also I, I did something wrong. I'm sorry. I have to do a Docker pool, junk media, the name of the image, right? Cypress demo, which is this one over here. And also I have to specify V1 cause that's the one that I want to pull from Docker hop, right? As you can see, it is downloading it. Uh, well, I, I the, all the layers already exist in my computer. So if I perform a Docker images again, you can see that I have an, uh, an, an image, right? That was pulled from the Docker hub and anyone else can download it easily, okay? It is public and actually you can do it too in your computer if you wanted to do this uh, this example. And now if I perform and again, uh, well, and if I execute my Docker run, but instead of using my Cypress demo uh, um, tag, I can use the John Media image that I have just pulled from the uh, Docker hub, right? So let's go ahead and check if, if it works or not. There it is. It, it is it is working. We are using the, the image that we just uh, sent to Docker hub, right? And that's good. I think that I, I just wanted to sh show you something else because it could be easy, easy or actually useful for you too. And let's imagine that you want to update your uh, your Docker file, right? You want to create a new image from a change that you need to do. And we'll send another tag to the Docker Hub repository. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. If I come here to the Cypress Docker images, you can see that I am using an old uh, Cypress Docker or Cypress browser image. Right now we have the last one as 16.5.0, right? And I have right now the 14 one. So um, I wanna change that. Uh, well, I wanna, I wanna do it uh, six, uh, 16.5. That zero and the Chrome also changes, right? Now we have a newer Chrome in the image. It, it is 93 over here. There it is. Now let's imagine that I want to send this update, a, a new Docker image to the Docker hub, right? So how you can do it? Basically, um, it is basically the same. I have to do a Docker uh, pull, right? It is gonna be, um, we're gonna use the same syntax, right? T uh, Cypress demo v2. So we can build this image from scratch, okay? But I have to, well, use a dot to refer to this Docker file. It is not working because I am doing a pull and this is a Docker build. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> there it is. Now it is probably downloading the newest um, well, layers, right, from, from the latest image that, well, we have in the Cypress browser official um, repository. So it is downloading the changes and, well, it is working as, as expecting, as expected. So let's let's wait for a few seconds to see if, if we have this downloaded and working, okay? This is useful, right? Because if you have a new change in your framework, you just have to build again your image and send it to, to the Docker Hub repository so uh, anyone else can access it easily and it is very portable, right? So there it is. It is downloaded the, the downloading the different layers that we need in this new, um, in this, in this new image, right? 
Mm -hmm. Hope that if you are watching this video until this minute, uh, please subscribe and let a like. It is going to help me a lot to, well, uh, let YouTube knows that this content is useful. And I hope that it is. I hope, I really hope that. And well, now it seems that we have a new Docker image in, in our system, which is the V2 tag. And well, if, if we want to push this image to the Docker Hub again, well, I think that we have to do the same stuff as we did before. Basically, a Docker login again, just to make sure it is aut authenticated with our credentials. That's fine. And uh, well, the next step will be something like Docker tag. We need to well, send the Docker image over here, right? In, in the first parameter. And then we have to send the, the user ID and also the new um, well image tag at the end, V2. So if I tag this and you check this with again, uh, with Docker images, you can see that now we have a new tag over here. And we'll, in order to push this to Docker Hub, well, we just have to do something like Docker push the the image again and the tag that we want to send. So as you can see, it is going to be sending again the different layers. It is pushing the different changes that we have to send. Uh, and that's basically what is happening. We just have to wait for a few seconds more. And well, guys, as you can see, well, we have uh, now the, our version two in Docker Hub, right? If I go to the UI and check, um, well, my repository, you can see that now we have two different tags and we have a new version, the version number two. So what I'm going to do and to show you the differences and, and how this is powerful, if I perform a Docker images here, I'm going to be deleting the version two locally, right? So Docker RMI, the Docker uh, ID and force because we have two different images and we need the forest in this case. Um, what, I, what I'm going to do is basically do, do a Docker pool again, right? And I'm going to be, well, using this uh, syntax join media slash Cypress demo version two. And you can see that now we're going to be pulling the Docker image from uh, the Docker hub uh, with this simple command, right? And the new changes. Now, if I execute, uh, well, the Docker run, right, with the, ver the version one, note something, right, that we're going to be executing our framework with the Chrome 91, right? However, if I stop this and I, well, execute this with the TAC version two, probably we're going to be executing this in another version of Chrome, right? The 94, if I'm not wrong, as you can see over here. So that's basically how you can share uh, your framework with other guys, right? With your team, with your developer team, with your QA team. And uh, well, as and take advantage of the container, the well, in this case, Docker, right? To containerize your your framework, if, if that is actually a word or not. So thank you very much, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, just wanted to update this 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 uh, this guide this guideline because well I missed that from from the last video. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, see you in the next video if if you like this this kind of well videos for about Cypress and Docker, right? Thank you and see you in the next one. Bye bye.